Now we're thinking to head over to Playa Bluff, which sounds like the ideal spot for vans on this island. So we gotta get the scoop. We're gonna have to cross a river, but it's this creek. It's pretty small right now. Really sunny out, no rain. I think it's gonna be fine. Here we go. We're gonna see off. This is the sinkage. soft sand section on IO. Seems like we made it. It looks pretty high. Okay, so this is the crossing, and uh, yeah, I don't think I need to check it out. I think I got no, the angle. I think we got it. So let's just go like this. <laughs> Yo! Three days ago, that stopped our forward progress. Heck yeah! Nice. <laughs> let's see what's up here now. Woo! Surprisingly, up here is developed. The road gets a lot nicer. After you pass a river crossing, usually it's uh, a little bit worse for the wear. <laughs> but not here. Yeah, I'm glad we made it across that river. Ooh. So it's getting a little soft out here. Yeah, that We could just make it through a little, a good soft bit, so. But we're not really that close to the end of the road. The phones aren't really working with the GPS anymore, so. Oh, really? I, I don't know, actually, if we're very close to the end of the road. Neither one of them is functioning. <laughs> we might be. Bomb bomb. So now we're about halfway to the end of the road. Yeah, this fly of bluff area is really impressive. Good man. Yeah, we're all over there too. So we made it to play a bluff. The van can do it. <laughs> Two wheel drive, oh. but there's supposed to be some really good pull offs up here for a van. So we're gonna scoop it out, we'll see what we find. It got pretty tight back there and Emily was a bit skittish of the road, so we found a good spot there to pull off and park. And me and Sombrita are gonna scope out up ahead, because I'm a scout. I was hoping to return to Emily with great news that the van could make it all the way to the end of the road, but yeah, I don't think we can fit under this. This is just some bamboo down Man. you know we got a lot of things up there on the roof to take care of this somebody cut it to be that high it just doesn't look like it has the clearance we'd need for the van so I guess I can just go on foot see what's up here I know at the end there's like a really nice 30 to 40 minute hike to a beautiful beach and now here, a little bit after that section, this is looking pretty soft here. Over here, look at this beach. So this is the Bluff Beach. And people really warn you, don't go swimming here. Because there's a lot of riptides. Apparently there's a pretty epic surf break though. And that's for very advanced surfers. Rita, this was her idea. She pulled me over to the beach here. You love the beach. Siéntate. Get a nice little walk over here. The sand, just like pristine. Doesn't look that deadly, but I guess it's just riddled with rip currents all along here. And the water breaking in shallow water. Known to break surfboards, they say. Yeah, let's head on back. It was cool exploring. Yeah, it was fun. Looks like we've come up to this spot, and I guess there should be sea turtles here right now, so. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a lady trying to lay her eggs. Not a bad spot. We got the side door view. the back door view and we got the van chef wife cooking up there <laughs> but this is what I needed just seclusion a beautiful beach to ourselves I love it this does content uh... She looks sleepy, alright? Somebody did you have a nice walk today? She had a few. 
she met some puppies. Well, my buddy Cameron said, make sure Graham gets his time. <laughs> you wanna go say? Well, Sombrita, you wanna go, don't you? Let's go, baby. Vamos. Good morning. Okay, so today we're gonna take a water taxi over Bastimentos, and we're gonna be going on a beach walk, go in the water some, had a swim, it's gonna be a great day. Back to the river crossing. Oh boy, so it looks like water is not flowing in. He may be sure to caution us not to do it when the water's coming in from the ocean. Ooh, buddy, no big, no problem. Just gotta climb out now. Oh, got it. <laughs> this is the gas station on the island here. A little pricey. Fair day. 89 cents. Okay, so the details are it costs $5 to get here from Isla Colon to Bastimentos Island. And he said to take us over to Wizard Beach would be eight bucks. Oh no, I'm sorry, that was to Red Frog. And he said that would also be a national park fee, but there was nowhere to let us out over in, in Wizard. So we decided, hey, we're just gonna walk from here, Old Bank Town, and see what we find on this island. So we turned at some point in the village there and went up a hill and now we're kind of cutting over the island I guess on this trail. Thankfully we have this maps.me app to keep us on track but there have been a couple little pointers like this we stop back in town on the turn. Wow we're just walking right through the jungle here up and over the middle of the island to get to Wizard Beach. We wanted to go on a nice walk today anyway so I'm glad we opted to stop in Old Bank and walk over to Wizard, take a nice swim. So we were just walking by and Danny noticed these little houses right through the valley. We're thinking that they're for the banana farms or some kind of farms for the workers that need to work in them. They don't look like they're finished yet. They must be opening up a new farm here to keep that taken over. So basically all over the islands, Bocas del Toro Islands, there are these hibiscus flowers. So which in Spanish are called well, Jamaica flowers. They make tea out of it. Not just in Panama, but mostly in Mexico I've seen this tea. Oh, it's delicious. Sometimes I put a little bit too much sugar, but it has a lot of vitamin C. Super tasty. Banana trees. Don't think that they're old enough to make the fruit yet, or maybe they're already harvested the fruit. <laughs> so I thought it was a little muddy before. It's a little bit muddier. <laughs> oh, a bunch of leaf cutters. Whoa, it got a bit sloppy up here, but now we're heading down, and I can already hear the ocean on the other side. I love these crazy trees with the weird spikes on them. Don't have that in Spokane. Now we're heading down pretty steep to Wizard Beach. Pretty fun hike though. We wore good shoes today. Well, it seems like it's flattening out now, so the ocean should be getting close, even if it's a bit of a muddy walk there. Gonna feel really good to swim. Well, we don't know yet if the juice is worth the squeeze, as Kurt would put it, <laughs> but this hike is definitely muddy. No more mud. Oh, babe, look at those waves, huh? Doesn't look as deadly as Bluff did, but there's like five waves in a short little area there. I'm sure one of these spots along the beach will be better for swimming than others. Ta-da! Yeah, I don't see anybody here. This is pretty sick. You know, find another secluded beach. But this is just open ocean here. There's no other island in front of us in the Caribbean, at least. Well, I'm all suited up, but it's a little gnarly for swimming. I think I like planted waves, you know. 
guess I'm just a little spooked from that last bluff beach, how many warnings there were, but there's not a warning here. What do you think, Emily? Should we should we go for a dip? Yeah, let's rinse off. Make it nice and cooled off. What spot looks best? Like farther down there? Or uh because that looks like kind of calm, right? In the middle. So we'll make camp here for the day. <laughs> Take a little swim and then we're kind of conflicted. Should we go that way? Try to catch a water taxi from there? Oh the mud route is not super appealing. <laughs> guys walking by the first people we saw the whole time we were here because we were a little unsure of the trail now we know that there's definitely a trail over there that leads somewhere at least and safety in numbers so yeah nice safety in numbers too see three guys over here so they were afraid of our dog so yeah felt good too <laughs> <laughs> she's a sweetheart she's a sweetheart dog yeah she's a good dog but people are afraid of her because she's 60 pounds <laughs> and her bark is loud <laughs> Oh, now over here we're crossing this freshwater creek and the dog's loving it. Oh, it feels so cold. Yeah, and we've kind of came to the end of the long sandy wizard beach. Now the trail is cutting up through here. This is beautiful. Coconuts! It's insane! Wandering in the thick jungle again. Well, we came from that way. I'm thinking that's the way. That looks like a good trail, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Bit of a rough spot again, but should be a beautiful beach over here. It's called Red Frog Beach. Look at this too. Whoa. Looks like they're growing shoes here. Dang, that's where shoes come from. Yeah, this is where they grow super selectos. <laughs> so hopefully over here, red frog, there's some red frogs. Poison dart kinds. Yeah, we should probably just start looking for them now, huh? Red frogs know no boundaries, for they are the poisonous ones that no one should mess with. So that may have in fact been the wrong trail. <laughs> if we weren't comfortable with ambiguity, we would have paid $100 for a tour. It does help there's been some footprints from those guys. I think I just saw a couple. But whatever's up here is looking like a lost fabled Shangri-La. Well, we might be completely lost, but they put a sign here, so. <laughs> there's not an arrow or a map, which would be really nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was that way. I'm sorry, babe. Tell me this is the right way. Oh my God. Back to that reassuring sign. Maps stop me appears to point this way as overgrown as it looks. At least it's not a muddy jungle mess. Oh yeah, this is feeling like a like the right way, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, there's a stair. Well god. 
What do you think, babe? Civilization, nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, yeah, this is definitely what maps up me is saying. They're like, we ran out of gas. <laughs> I think one quick karate chop. Oh, so now we've come out on a different area. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> oh, whoa. Look at this place. <laughs> oh, man. There's a hotel, babe. Oh, man. You gotta wash them legs. <laughs> And that over there is the point we just came around from Wizard Beach here to Red Frog Beach. You can see this is a national park, so that's probably what those buildings are. It's just good to see society, right? <laughs> yeah, I need to rinse off my legs a little more so that society doesn't think I'm nuts for wandering the jungle. Yeah, we did it, baby! We walked about four and a half miles already. <laughs> Oh, I'm counting this as a win. Yeah. Wow, so now we're coming to a developed area. It just feels like we've been underwater this whole time. <laughs> we're finally coming above. Yeah, no clue what we're walking up to here. I feel like everybody knows each other. Is this a commune? Emily thinks this is where they filmed the island, Leonardo DiCaprio. Hey, buddy. She's a good friend. Does he look healthy? Yeah. He's a really cute dog. He's a boy. You want to come with us? He doesn't even bark too. Really cool dog. And after that hike, come here, have some beers. See this guy we met the other day, he's gonna visit a boat ride back. All the dogs been playing. What a chica. Dang, the dogs over here jumped in this pond and this came in here was creeping up. He was definitely trying to chase him. Yeah, he, dude, he came up onto the land here yeah, and like, came over here. What the hell? I thought his tail like flipped out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty lucky that we ran into this guy because there's no other boats here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, look at this limousine. Pirate ship party. Coming back to the van. Who knows when we'll ever see those friends again. Of course we're parked right in front of the police station, which is always a safe bet. Okay, we're back in the van. Let's turn on the light here. Oh, you're already scratching? How long have you been scratching that? <laughs> Do you need help? Oh my gosh, he like tore this. He Whoa! Tore it off. Grim. Grim. You're good. You're such a good boy. Today was probably one of the best days we've had with the van. Yeah. We decided not to turn back. You know, we almost thought, where are we going? We're lost in the jungle. Then we find our friend that we met. Like a date a week ago. But the guy is so just in the moment, centered, chill yeah. dude. Rich, you know? Relaxed, yeah. It was so cool to see him. What we thought was the middle of nowhere, but it ended up being a very populated place. And then for him to offer us a ride back. And we're here for the first party that this pirate ship is having <laughs> since coronavirus started because they have vaccinated so many people here. And then they said, hey, you know, we can tell this thunderstorm, you can see lightning from the pirate ship. Yeah. And he says, hey, we better head out now. It's about to rain. But we said like, we'll just take a water taxi because there's so many coming. And he was like, no, you guys are already in the equation. We need to leave now so that we can drop you off and then take the boat to the dock. <laughs> that was like the nicest moment. I the, thought, just, we're at home, yeah, you know, with yeah. other fellow nomads and travelers. Yeah, And it was sure. just an amazing day. So we're gonna grab some food now and then call it a night.
<laughs> so today, sadly, we're going to leave Bocas del Toro. We had an amazing time here, but today we're going to head on to the ferry and take our boat back to mainland. Oh, here Hi. comes our ferry, babe. Yay. Okay, gracias. Going on the ferry. The loop, beep, beep. <laughs> Okay, dale, he says. Give it. Wow. Heading off Bocas del Toro after seven amazing days here. What a nice time it's been. Here we go. How long is this ferry again? Hour and 40 minutes. The rain is perfectly matching my sadness at leaving Bocas del Toro. But I see some sunshine up ahead and happy trails. We had an amazing time in Bocas del Toro. This archipelago is already an amazing place, but the generosity and friendship of the community puts it over the top for us. It's one of the best places we've ever been with the van. If you don't have a van, just fly right into the airport here. Come give the serious some love. You might end up staying forever. The beaches above and underwater alone are worth the trip over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe. See ya! Thanks.